Hey guys, today we're going to be playing Cachion de Mariachi, which was featured in the movie Desperado. But these are three really easy chords uh, that the song uses in the key of G or E minor. So first we're going to play E minor. Okay. And that is simply just second finger on the second fret, fifth string third finger on the second fret, fourth string, and then just strum it all open. All right, and then the five chord in this key is gonna be B7. Which places your second, third, and fourth fingers on the second fret, on the fifth, fourth, and first strings, and then your first finger is on the first fret on the fourth string. And then in the chorus, we go to a four minor chord, which is A minor. So you got first finger on the first fret, B string, and then second and third fingers on the fourth and third strings. Okay, now let's talk about the, uh, the kind of rhythm of the song. Um, it's kind of an upbeat 4-4 four, four time tempo, but you're going to do this cool little uh, accent with your hand. So it's going to be... Okay, so with the chords, it sounds like this. Try and do this also with a pick. So it's gonna be the same similar kind of wrist movement with your hand, but you're just using a pick. So So now let's look at the number chart so you can follow along with that. Alright, so we're going to play the song in the key of E minor. Uh, so our one chord is going to be a one uh, with a dash. Just like that. Our five chord is going to be just a five. Um, so what happens with the song, the chords kind of move mid-measure. So the one goes for a full measure, then goes for a half a measure, then changes to a five. And that is signified with the underline of the two chords. So each one gets half a, half a measure. So this is two beats and this is two beats. Then it goes to a full measure of five, and then a half measure of five, and a half measure of one, okay? Um, and let's play that. All right, so we got one, two, Okay, and that's going to pretty much repeat for the verse. And then our chorus section is going to be the four minor chord for half a measure, and then one minor for half a measure. So we're going to underline that. So one, two, three, four, and then five for half. Then back to one minor for half. And that's going to repeat. All right, so these are really the two main sections of the song. I think the verse goes for like maybe twice twice this length. Um, but you get the point. Once you hear the song and get the chords underneath your fingers, 
uh, should be pretty easy. So let's play the chorus, which is going to be one, two, three. Okay, so have fun with this song and uh, leave a comment in the section below if you have any questions and we'll talk to you later. Bye.